Hi, M. B. Rao here, and welcome to my channel. Today we shall see close gummy friends of the forest. Yeah, two closely resembling gums from very different plants. In an earlier video entitled "Gum Karaya," a swelling wonder of the forest. We have seen some exceptionally wonderful characters of gum karaya. And today we shall see yet another tree, Cochlospermum gossypium, yielding a gum which is identical to gum karaya. I shall show you the similarities and differences between the trees and similarities in the gum they produce. The pictures on the left are karaya trees. One is yank and one is fully grown. Karaya belongs to the family Malvisiae. Towards our right are pictures of Kondogogu trees. Kondogogu or Cochlospermum gossypium belongs to the family Bixaceae. Thus, the families are totally different and they are totally different genus and species. The only common factor is both of them are grown in the forest on rocky areas and Karaya attains a height of nearly 30 feet or even higher but Kondagugu attains uh, say a maximum height of about 15 feet. Karaya is a very strong tree as it can be seen with a good girth and Kondagugu is a small tree. Both these trees yield gum as a response to injury. We can see on the left gum karaya exudate on blazing. On the right we find Kondagogu gum on blazing. I always find that the oozing is more with Kondagogu than gum karaya. On our left is gum karaya and on our right is Kondagogu gum. Both are nearly dry. And let us try to recall, both trees were totally different. But using the gum the same way. Now look at the lumps. Both nearly look alike. But Kondogogo is slightly yellowish. Gamkara is hard. Kondogogo is a little brittle. And I have observed always, gum karaya dries slowly, but kondogogu dries faster. Uh, you may be wondering why I am stressing so much on similarities of gums. Let's have a look into the following details. There are more than 2000 gums existing in nature. Most of these natural gums are polysaccharides and some are exudates like gum karaya while some are within the tissues. The gums may be from the tree, bark, fruits, leaves, seeds, seaweeds, bacteria or even from animal sources or insect sources as well. There are some protein gums also which may be from horns and skins of animals like glue and gelatin. By the name of the gum, we assume all the time that they are adhesives and sticky, but all gums are not adhesives and sticky. Each gum has its own unique properties. Let's see further. So what's so much interesting about gums? We use gums in some form or other every day. Gums are used in detergents, paints, pesticides, paper, pharmaceuticals, 
foods, cosmetics, textiles, printing inks, animal and fish feeds, oil drilling and so on. No two gums are alike, exactly. And these gums are chosen alone or in combinations for different applications. Gums having similar properties are uncommon and are useful when supplies are short or for economic reasons. Now coming back to our story, Gamkaraya and Kondagogu have identical properties. Let's discuss about swelling ability. The swelling ability of Gamkaraya and Kondagogu gum are identical. 2 grams of the gum swells to more than 500 ml of volume. And I have seen many a time, gum Kondagogu also reaches 900 to 1000 ml swelling ability. A detailed presentation is given in my YouTube video entitled Gamkaraya, a swelling wonder of the forest on swelling ability of Gamkaraya. Therefore, I'm not repeating the entire exercise and may request you to kindly go through this particular video. Now let us discuss one more similarity that is viscosity. Briefly viscosity can be taken as a thickness of a solution. The more it is thick higher the viscosity. Viscosity is measured by several methods but Brookfield viscometer is very commonly used for gum karaya and kondagogo gum. A viscosity of about 1600 to 2000 CPS or 2200 centipoises also is seen in both gum karaya and kondagogo for a good quality fresh gum. Uh, let's discuss some other identical properties in both the gums. Both gum karaya and gum kondagogu look alike in appearance. Both have structural similarities chemically. Both lose the properties gradually on storage. Both show pH lower than 7 because of SD components present. Kondagogu shows a little higher pH value though. Both are insoluble in water. In fact, we measure the viscosity of the solen suspended particles. So being so close in their properties, Gum Karaya and Kondagogu are very good friends. And they find application in bulk laxatives, hepatite suppressants, ostomy appliances, denture adhesives and certain food applications and pharma applications too. And because of such close resembling properties, Cochlospermum gum was also included as gum karaya in some of the earlier standards. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe. Thank you.